everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, first of all, first thing, I'm very, very sorry about my not putting anything up for a while. I've just been really, really busy with work. Um, what can you do? You can't really do much. Um, so anyway, I'm here today because I would like to make do a review. I've had um, two colours. Well, okay, I'm going to review the melted um, Too Faced colours. I bought originally two colours, which was the Too Faced Melted Fig and the Melted Too Faced Berry. So these two colours I originally bought. Um, fell in love with them, really, really love them. So I did an online order from Mecca Cosmetica, because that's where I got these ones from. I went from the city from Mecca Cosmetica. So I ordered it. Um, so I've already opened it up, but I've repackaged it just to show you how it arrived. Um, did it online, signed up and everything. And it came really well packaged. It came with a really, with a lot of awesome paper. Scrunchy, scrunchy, scrunch. And then it was wrapped up like that. And it had stickers on it as well. And I opened it up like that. And I had the two colours. Um, they also sent me some um, specials. Well, some um, some samples. Samples. They gave me a Elemental Herbology Facial Glow Radiance Peel Mask Radiance Effect Peeling. They also gave me the Anti Aging Cream. And the last thing, which I was actually really, which I'm really wanting to try, but I haven't tried yet, is the Mineral Primer, which is oil free from Hourglass. So that'd be really cool to try. Um, it came with a little card. Well, it's not a card. It actually, it. See, I'm actually really, really impressed because no, never have I got. Okay, well, I've ordered a lot of things online, right? And most of the time, they just give you a paper receipt or whatever. But Mecca Cosmetica actually gave me an actual receipt kind of thing like that. So that's what they sent it and showed me how much it was. Um, something I did know about Mecca Cosmetica, which I'll let you everyone know, is there is an exchange and refund policy. Um, the products can be returned to Mecca Cosmetica within 14 days for refund and within 19 days for store credit except any items purchased on sale. No return after 19 days unless goods are faulty, do not match description or do not perform for two day function. So I thought that was pretty cool. I've never known that before. So if I buy something I don't like it, I can actually take it back. Wow. Okay, so ignore, by the way, ignore this mark. I did actually do my face properly. Um, and I'll show you, I'll tell you later about why, but how and what, what I use. But um, it, I popped it <laughs> during work, so just ignore that big bun thingy. It wasn't that my um, foundation didn't cover it, it's more to do with the fact that I played around with it. So, anyway, the two other colours that I got, which I, when I opened them up, I actually thought they looked very much like the berry and the violet. And I'll show you in a second that they're not. But when I first opened it up, I thought for a second they'd give me the wrong ones. Um, so, the fig. Um, so, this one here, the red one, is Melted Ruby. And the other one is the Melted Violet. I have... Before I got these in the mail... By the way, mail was really, really fast. I ordered them on Friday and I had them here by Tuesday. It was a Wednesday. So, it wasn't that long of a wait. So, that was really awesome. Um, I was using both of these constantly a lot, fell in love with them. Um, I was picking up, whenever I wanted a bright day, I was picking up my um, berry. And when I was feeling like I wanted more of a low, subtle kind of colour, even though it's not a low, subtle colour, and I'm dropping everything, um, was my fig. Fell in love with them. And because I fell in love with the actual products, because it stays on for so long, I went ahead and put these on. So they're actually kind of similar packaging and colour wise. So I will swatch them and show you the colours. Um, it's not the best colours and stuff. 
um, because I am doing this during the night. Unfortunately, I can't do it any other time um, because I have been really busy. But today, when I did my makeup, I actually used for the first time um, my Melted Red. And this is me putting it on at mid midday. It is now 10 o'clock. So these are my lips. And of course they're a bit dry because I didn't follow instructions on putting a primer on. I actually don't have a primer. Um, so I'm actually looking, that's my next thing, I'm going to look for a primer. But anyway, um, I didn't moisturise or anything. So this is your, the lips without being moisturised, without it being scrubbed, etc. And put on a little bit too much on as well. They actually recommend just a little bit. I've put a lot on. But considering that I've eaten twice today already, I had a burger in the afternoon and just now I've had pancakes. The colour's still there. I know it's a bit botchy, but I think it's pretty, pretty good. And especially if you're going out drinking, etc. Um, which I don't do a lot, but I think it's done a really, really good job. I'm in love with the colours. Um, the only thing that I'm upset about, well, it's not that I'm upset, it's just... With the ruby, um, it was described as a blood red colour and I don't feel like it's blood red. I actually feel it's pretty, because okay, maybe everyone's, dif uh, maybe everyone's everyone different, maybe everyone has a different definition for blood red, maybe people think blood red is like a bright colour. For me, I felt that this was more of a pinky red, very bright red. Um, and. For me, a blood red would be actually a really dark kind of colour, nearly coagulating kind of dark, kind of vampy colour. So I wasn't, when I put it on today, so that's how it looks like, when I put it on today, I was kind of disappointed. I'm like, I wish it was darker, but now that I've worn it, oh, awesome. I'm actually really happy with the colour. I thought it looked really well with what I, was, what I did with my eyes today. If you want a tutorial of how I did my eyes, let me know. So this is the red. So this is the ruby. So not red, it's ruby. So hopefully you can see that. So that's the ruby colour. You don't need a lot on it. So as you can, t as you can see, like, I don't know, to me it looks like a pinky red. It's a pinky red to me. Then I'll, I'll um... I'll swatch next to it the Melted Berry. I really love this colour. Ooh, it's a little bit on there. So they are definitely two different colours. You can tell the difference between them. But can you see how this is a really dark pinky colour, the berry. Well, so that's a very bright red. As I said, I feel like a, um, with the description of um, blood red would be like a dark colour. I don't know, maybe I'm just being silly. But yeah, so I got that. Then I'll show you the difference. I do love the fig colour. I absolutely love it. I love my fig colour. I like my fig colour. Um, so that's a fig. I don't use it that much because of work. Um, I unfortunately I don't go out much, um, hence why today I've actually made a commitment to my. Oh, I've made a little thing for myself saying that it doesn't matter what time I finish or what time I I, I start um, at work because I work weekends because I'm in hospitality. I will definitely put makeup at least once a week, and my week is my day is Saturday. So today is Saturday etc. So that's the fig colour. Absolutely love that colour. Fortunately I can't really use it that much because I've, I don't know, because I haven't dressed up enough for it, but that would be definitely a dress up kind of colour. Absolutely love that colour as well. And for the last one, which you can, I've, I actually, when I saw this, I thought for a second it looked like fig. So I squashed it a little bit just to see it. I actually haven't used it yet. So, so this is like a really, really bright purple. 
It's called violet. To me, violet isn't this color. To me, violet is more, no, it's not royal, but it's darker purple. But hey, oh well. They can choose, choose to name whatever they want. So that's the other color. So this is ruby. So there is a difference in the colors. So there's ruby, berry, fig, and violet. So those are the colors for you. As I said, I absolutely love them. It's something that I can't leave without home now. I've actually been using them. 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 I'm using them. I've actually been using them without any makeup on. I've just been putting on the um, the lips, the lipstick, by, just by themselves when I go to work. That's how much I love these, and that's pretty wow for me because normally I don't put any makeup on at all. So me turning around and actually putting them on nearly every day is a wow factor. So I do love them. They are drying, but that's only if you don't follow the instructions of um, priming, using a primer, moisturizing your, your lips, etc. So absolutely in love with them though. I would definitely recommend them. The only thing that I'm really sad about, like I want to get all the colors. I want to slowly buy them. But the problem to that is there's actually 10 colors out there to Too Faced. And in Australia, I've looked everywhere. In Australia, only eight of them are available. So the two that I'm missing, are, of course, are the ones that I would love to have as my top list of what I wanted um, is uh, one called Marshmallow and the other one which is called Candy. So I like the look of Candy because it's not fuchsia, like they've got a fuchsia one which is a bright bright pink but um, Candy is like a more mellowed out, it's kind of still fuchsia-ish but a little bit more darker, I don't know, it's really hard to describe and then we've got Marshmallow. Um, so I would love to have them, but I haven't come find them anywhere in Australia. If anyone knows where to get them in Australia, please let, please let me know. Um, so there are technically 10 different colours out there in America. Unfortunately, Australia has only received 10. I've got four, uh, eight, sorry. I've got four of them, which is technically half of them. Um, the other colours that there are is pe um, Peony which is like a pinky nude color. Then there's an the actual nude color, which is a nude color. Then they've got, what was the other colors? Nude, puny, that coral, which is like an orangey kind of color, which I'm umming about getting only because uh, I use a lot of purple and a lot of pink. So I'm not sure if I'll actually use coral, but the, problem, the thing is um, they're limited edition as well. So I think I will get it just for future uses. Um, because later on I may change my hair colour, I might change it to red, I might, I don't know what I'll change my hair colour to. Um, and then, what was the other colours? I can't remember the other colours, but there's eight in total. I know six of them, which is coral, peony, nude, I've got fig, I've got berry, I've got ruby, and I've got violet. And there's an eighth one, which I can't remember. So I just closed my eyes to think about it. But there you go. Um, so that is my little review of um, the melts. Um, I have seen lots of reviews, but most of them say, no, it's not drying, it's not drying. I will be truthful to you guys. Yes, it is drying, as you can see on my lips. But that's only because I'm not following what we are meant to do. Um... I have actually moisturized my lips before putting this on and it has worked and hasn't been as drying as it is now but I do have to say these are not as dry as my um, Lime Crime Velveteen, my pink velveteen that I have. Um, if I had to choose though, I would actually say the these remind me a lot about Chi Chi's um, lip stains, long lasting lip stains, but with the Chi Chi I don't feel that they are drying at all and they stay for hours and they look the same as you put them on. So if you want a cheaper brand, go for Chi Chi, um, but if you do want a high end brand, oh my gosh, these are awesome. If you don't mind them being a little bit dry, 
you won't have a problem. They're freaking awesome. Um, I have heard though a few people do put Vaseline over them after when they start getting when they start drying out. I haven't tried it, um, but yeah. Um, so have a good night, everyone. I hope you enjoyed my um, little fast review. There are the colours again that I have, the four colours. Um, as I said, if you, anyone knows anyone of selling in Australia um, the candy and marshmallow colour, please let me know. Yes, I've already looked on eBay. Um, no one has candy or marshmallow. I've had a look on Amazon um, and I haven't been able to find it on Amazon and the colours that you can get on Amazon for Too Faced Melted, um, unfortunately they um, don't ship to Australia. So that's, yeah, um, so have a wonderful night, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll talk next time, bye!